The passage of a complete streets policy is great news for the city of Hot Springs, and here to explain why is Parks and Trails Director Jean Wallace. Welcome, Jean. Thanks, Terry. This is great news, isn't it? It's fantastic news. Well, we're excited to be able to share some of the details with you today. So, let's start off. What is a complete street? Well, a complete street is actually a comprehensive design approach to uh, to streets that uh, make them safe and accessible to all users. And users include people who walk, people who ride bicycles, people who use wheelchairs, people who drive cars and drive trucks, people who drive emergency management vehicles. Uh, anybody that has a, a need for a street needs to be safe and the street needs to be accommodating for that user. Hmm. So what are the benefits of having a complete street? Well, besides the obvious safety aspect and safety benefit, there are uh, many other benefits. There are economic development benefits. Uh, a lot of urban areas uh, are stimulated or, or actually go through a renaissance when a complete streets policy comes into effect because there's slower, slower traffic means more retail. Uh, it's more prone to cafe type settings and maybe even food vendors, that sort of thing. Uh, environmental benefits are, are many, clean, cleaner air, cleaner water because of less emissions, energy efficiency, um, could go on and on. It sounds like you can, it's really the evolution of a city. Once a complete streets policy is in place, it affects everything. Correct, that's a good way to look at it. Well, it's very exciting. The process was not a short one and you were involved throughout. So describe a bit of the process that it took to arrive at the, the approval of this policy. Well, I think that um, the tipping point came in March 2013 when Hot Springs was designated a growing healthy community through the Arkansas Coalition of Obesity Prevention. And the two pillars of the the growing, a growing healthy community is improved access to healthy foods and improved access to physical activity. Physical activity can take many different forms and one of the forms it can take is walking, um, trails, uh, safe streets, complete streets. So the health department has a division that's called the built environment division and they go around to communities and help with walking audits and, and helping to address uh, safe street needs. And so fast forward a year and a half, September 2014, uh, Smart Growth America, which is a nonprofit specializing in national complete street movements, uh, came to Hot Springs. Uh, we were awarded a technical assistance grant and we had uh, planning experts and transportation experts that came from around the country and assisted a, um, with public information and public education meetings and uh, a stakeholder workshop that resulted in the policy which was passed last month. Sounds like once the ball got rolling it really snowballed. It did. Well, no policy can be implemented without funding and obviously there's a funding portion to this whole complete yes, street thing, uh, one of the, there? Yes, one of the things that we learned from the workshop was that the most common mistake that communities make is that they don't fund their policy. So we wanted to make sure that we had some dedicated funding and we proposed that 20% of the street department's paving budget be dedicated to complete streets since it was a, 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 is a road project. So it means that all city departments have to be on board with implementation, planning, design, etc. Correct. And we are, well, there was a lot of support from everybody, from, from every city department that we spoke with. But the city staff who, who really put, we did five drafts of this policy before it, it actually went to the city board. And besides the, uh, the, the volumes of volunteers that helped us get to this point, the city staff that worked on it, were the Deputy City Manager, Bill Burrow, and our Public Works Director, Danny McFate, uh, Planning and Development Director, Kathy Selman, our Planning Assistant, Daniel Mesplay, our Trails Coordinator, uh, Ken Freeman, and myself, and, and also our Stormwater, uh, Max Estelli, was involved in it as well. So along with those key players from the city, you also had community 
leader involvement? Yes, we did. And Gary Carnahan, city engineer, I knew I was going to forget somebody. Very good. Um, yes, we had lots of, well, especially in the workshop, the, the stakeholder workshop, we had community leaders, we had uh, business owners, we had emergency management staff. We had some federal and state agencies. We really tried to cover all of our bases because it is a big, um, it affects a lot of, of um, situations around town and it has a lot of impact to people. And it's impacting projects as we speak, correct? Correct, yes. We had our first planning meeting last week on some of the streets that are set to be repaved this year and we were looking at how to incorporate complete street elements into those streets. And talking about street elements, there are some right around us here in the Convention Boulevard area, right, Dean? Oh, yes, correct. Wide sidewalks, street trees, mid-block crosswalk, bike lanes, parking, narrower lanes. This is a pretty good example of what a complete street should be. And part of this segment, we're going to also be showing um, pictures and conceptual drawings of some complete streets projects from other areas. Yes, right. so we can see what it, what it is we can, we can become. Right. Well, exciting news for the City of Hot Springs. Thank you for sharing that with You're us welcome. today. You're welcome. We appreciate you. And next week, we'll bring you more City News.